pile. There's another one around back too. Did you so let the bees out? Huh? Did you let the bees out? What the hell? Probably all of them apparently. What the hell is right? This is just from you know. There's a new hive there. here. If you're gonna have an oasis in the desert, you gotta seal up all the holes and really keep it out. This much greenery and shrubbery is not recommended at all because it attracts snakes, bugs, scorpion snakes, and killer bees. So that's all we've got here. This is mirror. This is this is got the front door right here. So there was we just did that hive in that other trailer. This is on the same property. We got a new hive right by this tire that we just took care of. And we noticed the coming and going from under the steps here on two sides, which would indicate two new hives. So we're going to lift this top one off and see if we can lift okay. the bottom one off. So I got this so that we can. Can I move this out of our way as well? This is extra time. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stick this one up toward the door. I'm going to come in for a close-up real quick. Okay. So the one on the left I sprayed, which is really sad. This one I did not. Two separate hives, so we're going to throw that away. Yep. And two separate hives under his steps. The man is lucky he's alive. This is so stupid. So three new hives right here at this front door. Not around, but at. And so I'm going to see if there's any comb here. Because if there's not, then they're getting new. Little tiny nubbin. That's it. All right, I'm gonna nuke them. Okay, hang on, let me get them flowing out like this. Real quick. Look at that, just like a, a river of bees. Probably moving the queen. Yep, can I stand this up so that yep. I can go get the stuff Got and it. you can film it? Okay. If we slide it out a little bit, it'll stand yeah. up by itself. Yeah. There you go. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah, perfect. All right, I'm gonna go get this stuff. Do you want me to get it? Uh, I, it's no, like a I little want bit of propolis. Because that'll discover it forever. Oh, okay. So I want him to do that. All right, now we're going to go around back. Is it, did you already check back there? Yeah, there's one back there. So, one, two, three, four, five. Jesus Christ. Five hives. This is like hives. He's had at least 40, maybe 50 hives out here. Mm -hmm. Crazy, huh? Yep. Yep, got it. Oh, I got one buzzing right in my ear. Jesus. And of course, how it all started with him, a bee hugger. Yep. There's a lot of people. And they don't bother me, etc., etc. We need the honeybees. No, we don't. They're invasive to the Western Hemisphere. 
We don't need honeybees. We need honeybees for three things. We like honey. Great. Our gardens, which are mostly invasive anyway, and big agriculture. Our native plants in this country do not need honeybees. We have, in the desert southwest, over a thousand different types, species of solitary, mostly solitary or small group bees, native pollinators. These little assholes you see flying around, including European bees, are responsible for driving to or near extinction our native pollinators in the Western Hemisphere. Yep. Check your sources, where your articles come from, your Facebook articles, your academic journals. It's just Even bullshit. the academic world Total is not bullshit. immune to the bullshit. Nobody likes the truth, but... I don't give a fuck. I'm risking my life out here. So, uh, totally unnecessary. And now these Africanized bees are going north. This is more man-tinkering shit. Did you know that European bees in the Western Hemisphere are man-tinkering with nature? Brought them over from Europe. Invasive. Totally insane. So, uh, I think we might have saved somebody's life. How would you make that? That's hiding in the But look at this beautiful feather is on. Oh my god. Share that with fucking love Okay, so we decided, since we had that step tore up a little bit, to look further. Come on, we'll show you what's going on here. What people live with and shouldn't. This is an absolute nightmare. And they're just so lucky that this man didn't die. Uh, the hive had been there for months. So we're going to go across the bridge of this idyllic spot. I were right here, of course. You remember in the mm -hmm. corner? Yeah. yeah. Well, then we decided to stand up to see what was going on. And here we have not only massive rat's nest, but look at that old comb. Been here all summer. Look at that. Yep. Yep. So I sprayed this. So it is now a moot subject. So we're just going to just clean up. We're going to put all that comb into the garbage bag and take it home and use it for bait comb to find wild hives. Do you want me to grab a green can? Yes. Okay, I'll be right back. So, we're scraping this clean. Just, they've been here. Look at this dark comb. Under his steps, his front door, that he uses all the time. It's amazing that he lived through this shit. These things are so dangerous. So we're getting a whole bag full of comb, and because I sprayed it, we can't use it, so this is just a waste. Just a total waste. Well, we thought we were coming out for a couple of quick nuke and seals, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Spending all day out here. Of course, I got a hair right on my cheek that feels like a bee. Yeah. Oh, Christ. Ah. Look at that ball of bees right there. A swarm just came in. Come, up, come under here, go on this side of those poles. Oh my goodness. You see that? Jesus, we were just going to leave. Yeah. Um, I got a green can. Do you want me to hit it with the green That's can? Number four. Yeah. No, this is number six. Six. Right? Yes, this is number we'll six. We'll count in a minute. Yeah, okay, we're going to count all right. So, we were just getting ready to leave this nightmare and realized that a swarm had just come in. Now, that actually is a hive. So that's number six on this property. And, I mean, uh, one, two, three, four of them right by the front door. There's comb in there already? Uh, yeah, hive number six. Right above his front fucking door. Is this crazy or what? Very crazy. Yeah. So, all right, well, I'm going to knock them down. Yeah, I'm, I'm behind you. I think we're done. How many times have I said that? Carrie? Yeah, there you go. You got that? I got a lot of little things right okay. now. I got this, that, and the other thing. All right, so we were going to do a, a wrap up. Oh, on yeah, this well, we beautiful still can. Little <laughs> we still can. Take two. Put the cans in there. So, when we sat down a little bit ago to do a wrap up, Anyway, um, I thought I heard a lot of buzzing right here. Like I, 
you know, after 30 years of doing this, I can kind of tell. We've already done five hives out here, remember? And so I got to looking around because I heard this wild buzzing over here. I looked up, and there's that big ass ball of bees hanging up there. Uh, another hive. Four hives right at the front door. Two underneath the step, one in the tire wheel well, and one underneath this, this support for this god awful plant. So, I mean, it's beautiful and all that shit, but it's just who knows what else is in there. There could be hives in there all, all around. So, this has been a nightmare day, and I've got to tell our friend that he cannot come home for, uh, he can't stay here for a couple of days. This has got to air out, this has got to dry. We, uh, we knocked, we knocked everything down and took care of it, and it's just a nightmare. That's all there is to it. So, anyway, uh, we did it. Now we're just going to let these little sons of bitches fly around, and we're going to get out of here and go have some lunch, right, hon? Mm -hmm. All right, Bo Killer Bee Nation, Killer Bee Guy here, Killer Queen Bee filming and editing. We love you guys. Subscribe, thanks. We appreciate it. And, um, yeah, that's been a hell of a day. See you guys. That's going to be fun.